guys, welcome back. Today I have a review for yet another exciting launch from Maybelline and as you probably know by the title, I will be reviewing the Maybelline City Mini Palette. And before I proceed in, I'd like to say that I have filmed this video twice before and for some or the other reason I did not like the footage or maybe you know the and the quality was not good and that's why in today's video I will have to repeat some of the sentences and some of the things that I've mentioned in the previous videos so in that portion I might go a little bit fast so I hope you understand and also I've used one of the palettes to create this very simple eye look and yeah I'm gonna talk about all of it and if you're new to my channel hello welcome please do subscribe and join the family and now without any further ado if you want to know what I think about all these palettes then please keep watching So I found this palette on Central the other day and I haven't yet noticed Nykaa launched this palette on their website yet. So I'm not sure when you're gonna get this on Nykaa but you can definitely get this in any Maybelline store that is near you. So yeah. So Maybelline launched their City Mini palettes in four variants. They have launched in the shade Chill Brunch Neutrals which is more of a mauve and pinky toned palette. Then they have a palette for Smoky Eye Lover and it is called as Urban Jungle. It has more of a greenish olive tones to it. And then we have our everyday bronze and golden shades in the form of rooftop bronzes. And this is how the rooftop bronzes looks like. It has all the golden and bronzy shades that you will need for your everyday use. And last but not the least, we have a colorful palette and that is called as Graffiti Pop. So I have been testing this palette for almost 10 days now and I have my pros and cons about this palette. And when I see this palette, the first thing that I notice is the size. The size is really tiny and travel friendly. And also this retails for 750 rupees and you get a total of 6.1 grams of product and total of 6 different shades. And packaging wise they come in a slide over packaging like so and on the top of the packaging it shows all the vibes about the palette itself like this is the urban jungle palette is it has all the greenish tone to it and also on the back of the packaging there is one eye look given over here as well as on the back of the palette there is also a few of the eye looks given that you can create using this palette and the colors inside it and now coming to the texture and the formulation texture wise i would say these are more creamier than their previous the nudes palette that they have and they're also longer lasting than their you know previous nudes palette i haven't noticed any creasing or blending issues with this palette up to six hours after six hours i have noticed slight creasing on my lids considering i am dry skin type and my lids are also dry so after six hours it starts to crease but if you use some primer underneath then it will not crease up to 8 hours and I have tested this palette with a primer and without a primer with primer it stayed up to 8 hours as I mentioned because because after the 8 hours timeline I haven't really worn the makeup that long while I was testing this eyeshadows out but up till 8 hours it has stayed really intact and pigmentation wise I will say these are moderately pigmented these are not very pigmented nor very less pigmented but definitely these are more pigmented than their previous nudes palette so I would say these are a more better quality than the previous nudes palette that they have and the best part I really like about this palette is that these are tiny and you can carry it around but the one thing that I've noticed is really disappointing and also can be a down part about this palette is that it does not contain any crease shade into this so there is no crease shade into this palette to put on your crease and to blend the eyeshadows into the crease shade and also I've noticed that into all these palettes there is mostly shimmers and satin shades there is also very less of the matte shades like the rooftop bronzes i really like the color combination it has but there is no matte shade to put in your crease so i have to go in other palette to get a crease shade and then use these colors on top and to blend the color into the crease uh, so yeah and the matte shade that i only found into this palette is in the graffiti pop here the blue shade from the graffiti pop is of matte shade 
and the urban jungle the green shade the green shade into this palette is a matte shade so these both are the matte colors i have found into all these palettes that too only one shade in each palette but more of the everyday palette that they have they do not have any crease shade into this like the shade uh, you know chill brunch neutrals doesn't have any matte shade to it it has either of shimmer shades or the satin shades and the rooftop bronzes and the rooftop bronzes does not contain any matte shades only satin and shimmer shades so yeah that's the thing i feel that can be a down part about these palettes but other than that these are really pretty i really like the color combination that they have like you know as i said my favorite has to be the rooftop bronzes then the second favorite has to be my urban jungle the green shade right here screams the smoky eye and the olive shade is really pretty as well then the third favorite has to be my the graffiti pop i really like the pop of purple and the blue into this palette and the pink shades and the mauve shades are not for me this kind of shades does not flatter my skin tone does not flatter my brown eyes that much and this kind of shades kind of go ashy on my skin tone so that's why i kind of stay away from this although sometimes i like to use this kind of color to create some mauve purpley eye so uh, yeah and yeah that is pretty much all about my mini review onto these palettes now before i move on to the swatches of each of this palette let us move on to this really simple eye look this eye look is really simple if you want to skip onto this eye look you can definitely do that but those who want to learn and know about this eye look then please keep watching first i'll be taking my master contour palette and use the contour color as my transition shade as the rooftop bronzers from the city mini palette does not contain any transition color and i'll be using the transition color only once and that is now and then i'll be taking this bronzy color from the city mini rooftop bronzers and put that all over my lid and i am using a dry brush for this purpose and then i'll be using a blending brush to blend the edges then taking this sparkly golden color from the palette and use that in my inner corner as a highlight and then taking this satiny shimmery more satiny pale yellow color from the palette to use it on my brow bone then to darken up my outer corners a bit i am going to take this dark chocolate brown color from the palette and put that just at the outer corner and blend that using a blending brush and that's it for my eyes i'm keeping my lower lash line empty and just mascara and for mascara i'm taking this essence i love extreme volume mascara and before that i'm going to curl my lashes a bit and now putting mascara on the upper and bottom lashes both Then I quickly did the rest of my face off camera just to save some time and here's the completed look but if you'd like to know what I used on the rest of my face I will have the list in the bottom bar for you guys and yeah that is how I created this makeup look and this eye look and now let us move on to the swatches of each of the palette and there you go those were the swatches i really hope you found those swatches helpful and uh, yeah overall i really like this palette these are really tiny really travel friendly but i really wish they had a matte shade into this palette at least some crease shade into this palette so that we can put that color into the crease and that way this would have been the most convenient palette to use the price is also very reasonable not too hyped up for the quality that you get 
and yeah I, I like this palette and i definitely recommend you guys to check it out among all these palettes the one palette that i will definitely recommend is the rooftop bronzes and the urban jungle if you're someone who likes to use you know bronze golden color on their lips then i think this palette is the perfect for you and if you're someone who likes to to wear smoky eye then i think the urban jungle is the palette for you so yeah and yeah that is all for my review i really hope you enjoyed it give this video a thumbs up if you did and if you guys have any video requests apart from the hair care routine because i know you guys have been asking for my hair care routine for so long now and and i will soon gonna upload that video as well so yeah apart from my hair care routine if you guys have any video requests please leave them in the comments below and also do subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and i will see you guys in my next video till then take care bye guys